Breaking news out of the city of roses. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indab Africa. This is Chris coming to you from central Pennsylvania. Breaking news out of Bloemfontein in the free state in South Africa, where demonstrations have led to at least seven arrests, one death, and mass destruction of property, private and public, in the city of roses, Bloemfontein, or also known as Mount Kong uh, in South Africa. Service delivery protests, which began Sunday evening before they were scheduled for today by groups burning tires, lighting things, hijacking cars, and also causing all sorts of chaos, have led to the arrest of at least seven in the City of Roses. In addition to the arrest, uh, many things are now happening around the city. A big drama unfolding in Bloemfontein. The downtown area is being evacuated as we speak. The the people who are protesting apparently are on their ways to their way to Willows, Northridge Mall, the Fleurdale Mall, Hyperama. Many businesses are closed. People have had to uh, collect their children from schools. A lot of chaos taking place in the streets in the City of Roses, folks. This is tied to the service delivery that's not happening and one has to begin to wonder if this is perhaps one of the first chinks in the armor and the downfall of the corrupt venal betrayers of the liberation movement known as the African National Congress. Free State Police have arrested seven people who allegedly took part in a protest in Bloemfontein. The protesters have been blocking several roads and these seven people are expected to appear in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court soon. Meanwhile, a teenage boy was shot dead during violent protest in Bloemfontein or Mount Gong on Monday. The incident happened when a group of protesters attacked a warehouse on Dr. Belcher Road. A 57-year-old security guard has been arrested for the teen's murder. The security guard, who was alone at the time, fired a shot in an effort to scare the mob, but unfortunately hit a 15-year-old boy. In a separate incident, a 41-year-old manager of the Mong Hong Metro Solid Waste, who was on his way to work, was allegedly stopped by three men in a silver Isuzu Baki with a registration plate number Juliet Kilo Juliet 673 November Whiskey. The manager was driving his white BMW in McKenzie Street in Heidedal. Three males from the Baki approached him and one pointed at him with a firearm and instructed him to get out of the vehicle. They drove away with his BMW and after a few minutes the vehicle was recovered burnt in McKenzie Street. A case of hijacking has been opened. Situation quite tense. Police are all over the city and you're going to now see some footage of events unfolding as we speak in the city of Roses, Bloemfontein in the Free State, South Africa. At this hour, after 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which makes it just before 3 p.m. Central Africa time in South Africa, Free State Police spokesman Montasi Machela told uh, news groups that um, that the group of seven protesters or those char arrested are being charged with public violence and will appear before the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court within the next 48 hours. The group consists of protesters that barricade and block it, blocked George Lube, Mushweshwe, Telo Moloswia, and Dr. Belcher Rhodes, amongst others in the metro, with burning tires, rocks, and refuse material Sunday evening ahead of the planned shutdown that took place today. Motors and commuters in Bloemfontein, Devetsdorp, Vepener, Tabonchu, and Botsabela are urged to exercise caution and be vigilant as they drive to work 
today and return home. Police are on the ground all over. Mishweshwe Road in Bloemfontein, a road that on a normal day will be buzzing with traffic as parents take their children to local schools, has been very quiet all day as motorists are being intimidated to turn back. And some have been using smaller streets to get to their children or to their respective destinations. Police are on the scene there as well. Now, the arrests come after police had assured residents of Bloemfontein Metro that lawlessness and traffic disruptions will not be tolerated despite people having the right to demonstrate. The shutdown is led by a group calling itself the Mangaung Community Concern. The group, spearheaded by Temba Tsweni and Lili Tutsu, is calling for the disbandment of the Mangaung Metro Council for its failure to steer the metro in the direction of progress following its placement under administration and ongoing failure to allegedly render services or complete projects. Now, this is tied to the corrupt former mayor of the city of Bloemfontein. That's Oli Mlamleli, who was removed from her position in the corruption scandal that ties up Ace Magashule, the suspended former Secretary General of the African National Congress, over $255 million corrupt asbestos contract in which payouts were made to officials. She has been suspended and is no longer the mayor. Bluefontaine was once the city of roses, but today it's a capital of potholes. We can't open our windows as the stench from raw sewage running on our streets is unbearable, and we are no longer certain as to how long we have to go without water as Miss Powdy owes Bloom water said the group. This is the group leading the protest. They say that uh, Bloemfontein is rudderless following the ouster of the former mayor and the situation appears to be worsening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that the city is rudderless and it is problematic and you can thank the African National Congress and 30 years of corruption, malfeasance, theft, and just plain out poor governance. And this is what you get. As we speak, the service delivery protests continue in Bloemfontein. Expect to see more arrests, most likely. But as of now, seven individuals were arrested for starting chaos Sunday night ahead of today's events on the 17th of May, 2021. More footage now of the events. <laughs> Is it not ironic, ladies and gentlemen, that 40 years after protest, 40 years after protest in the streets of Soweto that started a 10-month civil insurrection and eventually was a contributing factor that convinced the National Party it was time to end apartheid, isn't it ironic that nearly 40 years after that and 30 years after democratic elections that elected a majority government, that majority government, which includes members of all ethnicities, white, Asian, as well as black African, but nonetheless is overwhelmingly comprised of black African politicians. That 30 years after independence, this is South Africa today. This is South Africa today. Potholes, the stench of sewage, unreliable electricity delivery, no job opportunities, no service delivery across the board. This is what happens when venal, corrupt, it's our turn to eat, vindictive politicians get their hands on political power. It's happening around the world. It's not just in South Africa. It's happening here in the United States. We see it each and every day. Folks, breaking news. Service delivery protest in Bloemfontein result thus far in the death of a 15-year-old and the arrest of seven people as well as mass chaos and disruption of city services and public life in the streets of Bloemfontein or Mangaung in the free state of South Africa. If you are in the free state and you are headed to Bloemfontein, I'd recommend you stay away from it for the foreseeable future as no one can guarantee your safety, not even the police. Thank you for your patronage.